Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video for EA Weekend video series. And in this weekend, we are going to talk about DevOps role for test engineers and why. So we have been talking about a lot of DevOps concept in recent days in our Azure Automation YouTube channel, as well as in Azure Automation's Udemy, as well as in Azure Automation platform about the DevOps and its importance in automation testing. But now I'm always getting this question from community asking what is the real purpose of this DevOps and where is this really required? Well guys, as you know, DevOps is a set of practices that combine software development and IT operations. And it aims to shorten the system development lifecycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality. And DevOps is a complementary with agile software development. Several DevOps aspects came from Agile methodologies. So you all know that Agile methodology is kind of getting popular and a lot of people are really talking about Agile methodologies even though they really know it or not, they are actually working with Agile in any one of the way like Scrum or XP or in a Scrum based workflow manners as well as in the Agile fashion. So I have been looking at a lot of people really completing the Agile certifications and stuff but you know the essence of the whole Agile itself is to make things faster, complete things so quickly and do not compromise with the quality of the software being developed, which is the whole aim of the Scrum and release the software in smaller chunks. So in order to achieve all these things, DevOps plays a super important key role and that's why DevOps itself is actually an extract of the Agile methodology. Well, as that said, you can see that this quote is something which I really, really like. Simply put, things always had to be in production ready state. If you write it, you done well had to be there and get it running, which is pretty cool. I mean, it should be written once and it should be ready for you to ship to the customer. That is the whole purpose of the Agile methodology and that's the whole purpose of DevOps as well. Well, as that said, there are some key benefits of DevOps as well. Having DevOps in our organization, we can deliver the features faster and that is the power of DevOps. I mean, automation also plays a key role in DevOps because having automation, at least not like automation can be uh, just like an UI based automation, it can be an API testing or it can be an unit testing. If we have all these things in places, then DevOps will be even more faster. The life cycle of the DevOps will be very, very faster because we can tend to ship the product or the piece of software that we're delivering to the customers will be so faster. So automation plays a super important role in this area. And then even small changes we check in runs the whole pipeline and ensures we don't really break anything. So here it is also very important, right? Because developers are going to be working from different parts of the world. And that too, in this pandemic situation, we all know that all the developers are sitting and working from their homes and they are going to check in the code and they are going to run the pipelines. And we're going to ensure that this particular pipeline is running fine. And the check-in of the code, which the developer has made has not really broken anything. So these are some of the super cool benefits of DevOps in place. Well, as that said, we also know there are different kinds of toolings available in the DevOps, something like Azure Pipeline, Jenkins Pipeline, Docker, and Kubernetes. And similarly, if you take about the infrastructure, then you can see there is something called Azure, AWS, Google Cloud, and many different hybrid clouds available as well. Well, all these infrastructures and services and toolings plays a key role in the DevOps to deliver the software faster and make things much, much smoother while we deliver a software to the customer in a pretty quicker manner. So these toolings, as you can see in here, you might have heard it. It's not now restricted just for the developers or the DevOps engineer. It is now an intrinsic part of testers as well. Tell me how many times within the organizations you as a test engineer would have already triggered a build once the code check-in has been done or if there is going to be a release going to happen like an interim release, you QA engineer going to trigger the build. Many times, right? If the code is being checked in, you as a tester will be going to Jenkins pipeline and you'll be triggering the pipeline. And you as a test engineer will be triggering the build in the Azure DevOps pipeline. So these things, you're just triggering it and you are seeing that the build is being produced for you as an artifact and then you're gonna be using it for testing the application. 
but now it's not just triggering the build if it is like a manual trigger or something like that but now you as a test engineer are also going to be playing a key role in actual development of these pipeline and seeing what are the ways that you can improve the pipeline and how your automation testing or the testing itself can be playing a key role in these pipelines and these are the toolings i have spoke many many times in many of my courses as well as in the udemy as well as in youtube series where the azure as well as the jenkin plays a key role in creating the building of our application and faster delivery of applications so let's talk about the azure devops pipeline as well as the jenkins pipeline which are the courses available in azure automation platform in youtube series as well as in udemy i already talked about this azure devops well guys don't confuse with the azure devops along with the uh, azure itself from microsoft because azure devops pipeline or azure devops is a completely different offering compared to the azure itself so they are completely two different things if you see in azure devops they have features like azure boards azure pipelines azure repos azure test plans azure artifacts and extension marketplace so this azure board is going to be more towards the scrum or the kanbans or uh, the normal uh, way of working within your organizations you can create the board you can use this board to create your stories and tasks and bug and everything which is something you usually do within your organization and then azure pipelines is going to be the build pipeline or the release pipeline where you're going to be writing the pipeline codes again i'm telling the pipeline code is not just the ui that you'll be doing like in team foundation server that you are doing all these days rather in azure pipeline you can write pipeline as a code so the whole infrastructure that you expect the application to be built within azure will be there within this azure pipeline as a code like a yaml file and then you will be having them and then you will be running that and again guys these are not just restricted for devops engineer now many organizations qas plays a key role in creating this pipeline they also make sure that these pipelines are running for their own environment which is like the pre prod environment or pre stage environment where testers will have their own build within this particular pipeline and then they can extend it for their automation testing purposes and azure repos it's pretty generic it's like a uh, github repo or an azure repo that you can be using and test plan is very very centric to test engineers where you will be writing all the test cases which is used within your organization will be sitting within this azure test plan and azure artifact is going to be the build that you're going to be producing at the same time the new get packages or any one of the npm package module whatever that you'll be using will be sitting or restricted within the azure artifact so these are the artifact that you must be using within your organization if you have some sort of uh, restrictions then you will be using this azure artifacts so if you take any banking organizations or a company which is super secure to build an any product then they don't really have to rely on the public domain package manager rather they'll be using their own artifacts which is maintained within the organization or being approved within the organization so those things will be sitting within this azure artifacts and there are many marketplace extensions as well that you can build or you can export it or you can import it from the marketplace so that you can see how you can make use of it so these are some of the super cool things which is available within the azure devops and these are not again restricted just for the developers or the devops engineers it is also for the uh, qa engineer and qa are really playing a key role in the azure devops space and next coming back to the jenkins itself well guys jenkins we already discussed a lot in our azure automation platform as well as in the youtube series you might have seen that but if you could see in here within this jenkins jenkins has many different features and the new pipeline as a code concept helped jenkins a lot and you can see this is the real feature of the jenkins itself you can retain the history of all the changes to the pipeline if you have the pipeline as a code concept then similarly you can roll back to the previous pipeline version which is also awesome because your code is going to be checked in or the pipeline is going to be checked in within the code you can roll back to the previous pipeline version pretty quickly and you can see 
uh, or view the difference and the merge changes to the pipeline and test the new pipeline steps in the branches and run the same pipeline on different Jenkins serves. And if you think that it's all going to be like a checking in uh, the code, doing the dev merge and all those stuff, looking more towards the dev side of thing, of course you are wrong here because it is mostly towards QA as well. Because if your automation test code is going to be using any pipeline, then you will be writing all the Jenkins code as a pipeline over here, something like what is defined in here, and then you will be running it from there as well, which is pretty, pretty cool. And again, Jenkins has many different advantages. Jenkins pipeline itself has got many advantages and there is a complete differentiation between the pipeline as a code versus the freestyle job as you can see in here. Well, as you can see, these are the difference between the pipeline as a code versus the freestyle job. And if you have already know about the Jenkins freestyle job, uh, then probably this is a high time for you to get into the pipeline as a code concept as well, because that's super important and very awesome. And many people are actually going towards this concept right now, rather the later. Well, as I said, coming back to the original questions of DevOps for the role of test engineers, you can see this is the benefit actually testers will gain apart from what they are currently doing. Testers are not restricted to just automation testing tools other than functional testing that they have been doing. And also with having DevOps in place, they will have faster testing and less overhead itself because they don't, don't really have to run through or do full automation testing or whole manual testing of whatever changes which has been deployed in the application because they are now doing a bit of dev kind of work. They don't they know which code changes have been made in the application. They can easily see that and then they can only test those area which has been really affected, which is also very, very good for the test engineer. So this is the faster testing and less overhead for the test engineer. And testers know what exactly has been broken in the build and where to test as I told you now. So all these things are really, really beneficial for a test engineer while they actually do testing of their application and while they play a key role in the DevOps uh, side of things as well. So you can see that DevOps is one of the intrinsic part of the test engineer and testers are not an alien for the DevOps operation. Every test engineers have to now play a key role in the DevOps because the whole culture of the organization is now changing and expecting testers to perform these action as well, not just restricted to the functional testing that they have been doing all these days, because it's a trend guys. I mean, everything is changing right now. The whole organization is changing and the culture is changing and having these modern toolings like Docker, Kubernetes and all this stuff, it is really, really high time for test engineers to learn DevOps as well as a part of their testing practices. This not only just gives the benefit that is listed in here, but also it gives you a value added advantage to understand the system. And also you can put it in a profile, why not? Just tell that you know that Docker's and Kubernetes thing, and you know how to spin up a whole environment just in a minute. And then they'll be very amazed to see how capable you are and how easy is for you to understand the system that they are building and how value add you can do for that organization. So that's it guys, this is about the year weekend. I don't really have anything to show because we have already discussed a lot about Jenkins and Azure pipelines. I just wanna show you the real benefit of having DevOps for the test engineer and why the QA engineer plays a key role in the DevOps in many organizations and why you should be really, really focusing on DevOps in upcoming days. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and you have a great weekend.